This is 7 hydroxy metragenine, and people are calling it gas station heroin. This is Dr. Soto, and today we're going to be talking about 7 hydroxy metragenine. So, in order to understand this stuff, first we have to talk about kratom. So, kratom is a tree called Mitragena speciosa that is native to the Southeast Asia region. It's been used for centuries there to increase energy, to decrease pain, to treat anxiety, to help with sleep. Kratom started gaining popularity in the US in the early 2000s. In 2016, actually, the DEA tried to schedule it as a Schedule 1 substance. This would have put it in the same category as LSD or heroin. Due to public backlash, this was abandoned and Kratom remains unscheduled, available for purchase at your local gas station or smoke shop. Now, I wanna make a distinguishment here. This is not Kratom. This is 7-hydroxymetragenine. In order to understand 7-hydroxymetragenine, we have to understand metragenine. Metragenine is the most abundant active component of Kratom. Metragenine is a relatively weak opioid partial agonist, meaning that it acts on the opioid receptors, but it has a sealing effect. For this reason, it has gained popularity for treatment of opioid withdrawal symptoms, pain, anxiety, and to help with sleep and relaxation. So 7-hydroxymetragenine is present in Kratom, however, in very, very small amounts. Less than 1% of the active components in Kratom are actually 7-hydroxymetragenine. So what companies are doing is they're taking metragenine and in a laboratory, oxidizing it into 7-hydroxymetragenine and selling it in pill form. 7-hydroxymetragenine is extremely potent. Some studies state that it is 14 to 22 times more potent than morphine for the opioid receptor. In other studies, it's been shown that in contrast to metragenine, 7-hydroxymetragenine leads to tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal. I have had multiple patients hospitalized for 7-hydroxymetragenine withdrawal, and its popularity seems to be rising. Check out these comments from this great video about 7-hydroxymetragenine. It is somewhat concerning that a pill with that strong of binding affinity for the opioid receptor is being sold over the counter at gas stations and smoke shops, especially since it has the ability to cause withdrawal so severe that is leading people to be hospitalized. The withdrawal looks exactly like opioid withdrawal with the same symptoms of restlessness, anxiety, sweats, piloerection or the hair standing up, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, I think this substance will gain more attention as the public becomes more aware of it, and I think it's important for healthcare workers, and especially psychiatrists, to be aware of that this is available and being used, and people are becoming addicted to it. I'm not saying that Kratom is bad, but this is not Kratom. In Kratom, this makes up less than 1% of the active components. However, this right here is a 15 milligram pill of 7-hydroxymetragenine, which is 14 to 22 times more potent than morphine for the opioid receptor. An interesting thing to note about both metragenine and 7-hydroxymetragenine, which may be a potential positive in the future if we can figure out a way to incorporate these compounds safely into medical practice, is that it's been found that they do not recruit what's called the beta arrestin pathway. The beta arrestin pathway is linked with the G protein coupled receptor that is the mu opioid receptor. And recruitment of the beta arrestin pathway is associated with a lot of the side effects of opioids. And thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more medical content soon. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments or about Kratom or 7-hydroxymetragenine. I myself am interested to learn more about it. It's only recently come to my attention due to my patients kind of suffering from the withdrawal from it. So I'd love to hear more from you guys. Thanks again.